Hello, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Master Meals. Today, we got a special guest joining us. Coming over from the Ignite series, Jesus Estrada. And we're going to take on the challenge of making a hibachi style dinner. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the meats. It's going to take the longest to cook, which is why I'm going to start with them first. Today, I'm going to be doing chicken, steak, and shrimp. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, as always, we're going to season our grill. I have this house-made garlic butter. We're going to put down. We're going to put the ingredients on this garlic butter so you guys can make it at home. Do I get some? Yeah, you want to? It's the good stuff right here. Look at that. Mmm. I'm gonna give you the chicken breast to put down. So are we gonna season it? Yeah, we're gonna grab some salt and pepper and everything in, in the... All right. So, so we're, gonna, we're gonna do this big feast for all our family and friends to really show you what the Mojave can really do. So Jose is gonna walk me on cooking. I am no chef by any means, so to show how easy it is to use the Mojave grill, okay? So we put wood underneath this section, that section. These are cool spots, okay? Um, really easy. We only got two little strips of wood in there to cook it. Um, so let's get the season. All right. So I butterflied my chicken breast, making it easier to cook, cook faster. So all we're gonna do is just season it with a little bit of salt and the garlic butter. Let me see. Pass this over. Okay. Tell me when to stop. That's good. That's good? On one. Good? That's good on the second right. one. So how are you going to cook the steaks? So I'm, I like my steaks medium rare, so we're going to let this go around five minutes each side. Chicken breast, we got to... Fully cook. Fully cook it. So the garlic butter, I have freshly roasted butter. In the butter that I have, I have freshly roasted garlic, butter, pepper, which is why I'm only adding salt to my steak and my chicken. So this is one of the cool things about the Mojave is that we can really control the temperature anywhere we want. Okay, so we put wood underneath here, underneath here to cook our meats. Um, right here we put a little bit to cook our vegetables and rice. Um, and these wood really, really last. So what's next? So our shrimp is gonna be the fastest to cook, which is why I saved this for last. Less time on the grill, because it cooked in three, four minutes. Okay, just season it with a little bit of salt. You gonna add any butter to it or later? No, oh, uh, butter went down. Okay. So we're next. Now we're gonna flip our meat. Should we should have a nice here on the bottom? Oh, look at that! My mouth is watering. Here, let me uh, want to see if it'll. Okay, so let me, now that we got this going, next thing we're gonna do, um, you think you can bring the chicken maybe a little bit more? Yep, right here? Yeah, okay. Get all our meat closer together. Okay. Let's clean that, clean that off. Well, clean it off, that. okay. You ever cracked an egg before? Just we're gonna scramble this egg. Show me how you crack your eggs, Jose. All right, let me. I need a little bit of butter so it doesn't stick. All right. 
to spread it. Make sure he likes. You guys want to hear a joke? You guys ever seen a butterfly? Butterfly. Okay. All right. I'm gonna just crack this egg. He can't see you. He oh, can't okay. see you. I'm gonna like that. I'm gonna crack. And we're gonna just scramble it. Just, just, just shake it up. Just shake it up. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do three. All right. Don't get that last part. So keep mixing it now or let it till it cooks a little bit? No, just mix it. Mix it. Yeah. Scramble it. Break the yolk, break up the yolk. Like smash it. Yeah, there you go. So the Mojave Master said mix it. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna mix it. Okay. Next, I'm gonna get my rice. All right, just uh, maybe do about half and just like put it put it over the uh, right here over the egg. Oh, over here. Yeah, that way. So this is this you is. You want to just dump it? You want to just dump it? Yeah, just I'll just dump. Slide over. And just, just dump. It. So so what is this? What are we doing now? Uh, so I'm using day-old rice. We're gonna use day-old rice because freshly cooked rice is gonna get mushy, which is why I cooked this the night before. It's, uh, you let the starches out, so it's not gonna stick to each other, making it perfect for uh, fried rice. Are we gonna add anything to this? We're gonna add some veggies and some uh, soy sauce to uh, season this up a little bit. See, I don't know about you, but I love extra butter on my stuff. So just keep mixing it, is that Just the plan? keep mixing it, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, soy sauce, what did I do with that? I left that over here, didn't I? You change to the other one. So just wait here, let it cook, or what do yeah. I do, Jose? Do a little bit more butter. All right, let's get that butter flying in there. You wanna do more, or is that enough? Uh, might do more. I have a lot, so might as well use it. Uh, whoops. Let's get this out of the air. All right. It already smells really delicious. Can't wait to eat this stuff. Let's put a little bit of soy sauce in there. Put this down. All right, you tell me when. All right. Good. A little more. A little more. That's good right there. All right, here you go. I'll take that. Ooh, my mouth is watering. All right, next we're gonna add some peas and carrots to our rice. If you want, you can put about maybe half. Half of it? Half of that in there, yeah. All right. Mix it all up. In the meantime, I'll cut my steak. Here. This into pieces. So just mix it all up? So just mix it all up. Yeah. All right. The reason I'm cutting this into smaller pieces, the smaller it is, the faster it'll cook. What do we do with this chicken? Still leave it on there? You want me to flip it? No, we're not gonna wanna, we're gonna try and flip as the least amount of times as possible to prevent the juices from coming out. So we just added some small sticks of uh, wood. We like to cut them up small so you can control it. Because if you do a really thick log, it's really hard to control. Um, so you add little by little, and that's a big tip for you guys. 
don't add the big, big sticks, because um, once it gets hot, it gets going. So smaller pieces, the better. Have me a piece, Jose, so you can show them what, you know, something like this, maybe a little bit bigger. We cut them up with an ax or whatever. Just throw them in there little by little. You have more control of your flame. Okay, the meat's looking good. We're going to add our fresh veggies to our other side of the Mojave. Did you make that yummy, yummy sauce for this? Oh, how, how should I respond to that? Of course, I'm gonna show yeah. you guys how to make it. Like, it has to be uh, non-scripted, yeah. It has to be instant. We're gonna add a little bit more, uh, more butter to this. A little bit more butter. We're gonna start our fresh veggies. Oh, yeah. I'll move my steak over. You want me to spread it out? I'm gonna spread it out. Okay. Let's get our veggies on there. What kind of veggies are you doing? All right, so I'm going to start off with my onions. These are going to take the longest, so I'm going to put them first. OK, I also added zucchini and yellow squash. Do you want me to add the rest of the vegetables to this, or are we good? That should be good. That should be good? OK, good deal. We're gonna take a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. Nice. Jose. You gotta keep it fun, dude. <laughs> Try it. Nice. Damn, he done that a couple times, huh, guys? For that, it's gonna taste a lot better. Let's give our steak a quick turn. Make sure it's not all cooked. Make sure it's cooking evenly. You need help with any of these veggies or anything? Do I need to do anything else? Yeah, we're gonna make give them tossed up, make sure they get rolled in that butter. Okay. Are we gonna add more uh, soy sauce butter to this or are we the rice looking? looks good? Let's okay. let's get you wanna help me out with this side? Alright. Give it a nice turn, make sure it rolls around in that. Buttery goodness. You want to add some to the top, or you're just gonna kind of as it goes? Uh, we're gonna eyeball this. Might add a little bit of soy sauce for some more flavor. Get the spatulas clean. What are you adding there? Just a little bit of soy sauce for some more flavor. Okay. That steak looks delicious. It's like a heartbeat. We got to do it like the real chefs. They put on a show. So, you know, this is all about having fun with your family and friends. You know, cooking, making memories, and most of all, having fun, guys. This thing is real easy to use. And let's move this bag, I think, the shrimp. Do you, want me to, do you want me to mix up the vegetables, give them a little turn? All right, give them a little turn. All right, so now that our food is just about done, I'm going to give you guys a recipe for a yum yum sauce. So what I have in my bowl right here is I have two cups of mayo, four tablespoons of tomato paste, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, two teaspoons paprika, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of melted butter, salt and pepper to taste. And we're gonna use water as well to thin it down. That is gonna be dependent on you. I like mine's a little more runny. And this is your end result. All right. Steak looks good, shrimp looks good. Rice is looking good. The only thing I was in charge of, I can say I killed it on this rice. Veggies look good. Getting a nice brown color, meaning our onions are sweating it out. Shrimp good. 
I don't like this getting too cooked because then it gets soggy. Mm, fuck. <laughs> or hot. It's fresh off the grill. But it's bro. good. I don't like it too. Yeah, because it gets soggy. It gets soggy. So what did you just do right now? So I just went ahead and I grabbed one of my zucchinis, took a quick bite. I like a little crunch to it. So that lets me know it's good cooked. Not too overcooked. All right. Shit, a piece of meat, hell yeah. Let me get a piece of that meat right there, Jose. Let's, let me try a little piece of meat. Small one, there you go. Ooh, that's gonna be hot. Ooh. Delicious. All right. Everything is just about done. The only thing left to do is just to plate everything up. How does that sound to you? How about we put a little bit more butter on this? I like my stuff buttery. Steak is done. Oh yeah. Losing that piece of ribeye. So just as a recap, so we have steamed rice with peas and carrots, a little bit of soy sauce, salt, pepper, and butter to your taste. We got chicken breast at Jose. What is it called when you butterfly. when you butterfly a chicken breast? Uh, what did you put on this one? All I did was just season it with salt. We have the garlic butter, which is butter, roasted garlic, pepper, salt to taste. Okay. And then on our shrimp, we did the same thing, correct? Correct. Okay. Just a little bit of salt is all we needed on top of that butter. You want to show them the seek trick like we did in our other video? Looking back at my previous video of shrimp tacos, I let you know when the shrimp is done. Once you start to see it, form the, of what looks like a letter C, that lets you know it's done. The further this closes off, that means it's overcooked, so we don't want it to close off. Good looking C. Ready. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Master Meals. I wanna give a big shout out to our guest, Jesus Estrada, for helping me take on this challenge. Now I'm gonna challenge you to take on this recipe. Be sure to like this video, comment what you guys wanna see done next, and subscribe to the channel.